Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, Jenny and Alyssa are both running a cross-country race, and they tell us that Jenny runs initially at 3.8 meters per second, and that Alyssa then starts 15 seconds after Jenny running at a faster speed. And at what time is Alyssa going to catch up with Jenny? And so what we need to do is we need to write an equation for both of them, and then we're going to use substitution to actually solve for it. So what our end goal is, is we wanna figure out what the distance is for Jenny that will be the exact same distance for Alyssa. We can also write an equation for both of them for the time. So we'll say delta t for Jenny is equal to just time. But for Alyssa, we're going to minus 15 seconds because Jenny has, will have been running for 15 seconds longer than Alyssa will have. So now we can write the formula for velocity, which is the change in distance over the change in time. If we isolate the change in time, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by t. And so that leaves us with the change in the distance is equal to velocity times time. So now we need to plug these into here. So we're gonna use this and plug in the time for both of them. So for, for Jenny first, Jenny, we have her delta x is going to be velocity times time, and her t is just t already. So that one we can just plug straight in. Velocity for Jenny times time for Jenny. And then we're gonna set that equal to Alyssa and Alyssa's delta x is velocity times t minus 15 seconds. So we have velocity for Alyssa times t minus 15 seconds, and that's for Alyssa. So now we have our equation where it will tell us at what point will the distance they have ran be the exact same. So let's isolate t first. Let's factor the v into the parentheses. So velocity times t, and this is for Jenny. So the velocity for Alyssa times time minus the velocity for Alyssa times 15 seconds. And now we can add this over to the other side. So if we add v Alyssa times 15 seconds, that will cancel and we'll be left with the velocity of Alyssa times time is equal to the velocity of Jenny times time plus velocity of Alyssa times 15 seconds, and now we can subtract this over. So velocity of Jenny times time, and velocity of Jenny times time. That will cancel, and so the velocity of Alyssa times 15 seconds is equal to velocity of Alyssa times time minus the velocity of Jenny times time. So now if we factor out t, we will have VA times 15 seconds is equal to time times velocity of Alyssa minus the velocity of Jenny. And now we can isolate T finally by dividing both sides by VA minus VJ. And so that will cancel. And so time is equal to the velocity of Alyssa times 15 seconds divided by the velocity of Alyssa minus the velocity of Jenny. All right, so when we plug in our numbers to this, let's come up here to the top. So we have Alyssa's speed, which we said was four meters per second, and we'll multiply that by 15 seconds. And if we divide all of that by Alyssa's speed, again, four meters per second, minusing Jenny's speed, which is 3.8 meters per second, will give us the time after Jenny starts where they'll meet. And now before we do the calculations, let's just think through this real quick. So we have meters per second, time second. So meters per second times second over one. So the seconds will cancel. So on the top, we're going to be left with meters. And on the bottom, we have meters per second minus meters per second. So we'll have meters divided by meters per second. And so dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we will end up with seconds over one and times what we're looking for. So we know that this formula 
will give us the correct value of time. So we have four times 15, and then we're going to divide that by four minus 3.8. And that gives us 300 seconds, but we want it in minutes. 300 seconds. So if we divide 300 by 60 to put us into sec uh, minutes, that will give us five minutes. So depending on how Mastering Physics wants the answer, it's either 300 seconds or five minutes is the final answer for how long it will take for Alyssa to catch up to Jenny.